So we'll be checking out some pretty cool minimal setups on episode 295, so buckle up and get ready, because you know what time it is. Before we continue, I'm gonna give a huge thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring and creative classes for anyone who loves learning. I always get asked the same question from a lot of you guys out there. Ed, how did you get into making YouTube videos? Who taught you how to edit and shoot your own videos? And the sad answer to that is I taught myself because I didn't know where to get help from and I learned the hard way, unfortunately. I wish I would have known about Skillshare at the time because it would have helped me learn new skills a lot faster like this DIY production course from Enri that shows you how easy it is to set up video, audio, and lighting. I've even learned a few lighting tips that I didn't know about. And that's just one of the many thousands of classes available on Skillshare, ranging from video production to animation, graphic design, and more. I highly recommend you guys to check them out if you want to learn a new skill or master an old one. Just for the first thousand people that click my link below, you'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Guys, make this the year that you'll become better by learning something new. Kicking off the episode is a clean single monitor set up by Dion, who's a cashier at McDonald's from Australia. It took him a total of three years to get the setup to this point for gaming, CAD design, and kicking back watching videos and anime. He does everything on a 34 inch ultrawide that he keeps on a riser, which by the way, the Alex add-on unit that you see here is a pretty cool alternative that a lot of people use instead of going with monitor mounts. It still brings up the monitor to a more comfortable height for your eyes, but on top of that, it still offers additional storage while contributing to the overall look of your setup. You just gotta make sure there is plenty of clearance from both of the drawers so that they don't interfere with the keyboard and mouse. Not every setup can pull it off, but this one does. I do like the single life fix bulb he has on the back of the monitor to add a bit of ambient lighting and the clever Google speaker placement above the monitor that he also uses to play music. Aside from that, he does have two dedicated speakers for the PC and the Astro A40s for gaming. My guy is using not one, but two Signum racks for cable management, which is definitely overkill for such a minimalistic setup, especially since the second one isn't even being used. Powering it all is a nice custom build inside the Corsair 4000D Airflow. We got the Ryzen 5 5600X and an RTX 3070 Tough from Asus. It's got the parts, but it's lacking in the aesthetics department, especially inside such a good looking case. I would at least swap the stock cables with some extensions once you save up enough money. But overall, a very clean and minimalistic setup to start out the show. Thank you, Dion, for entering. Dominic is up next with another clean setup. He's a student from Florida who likes to watch videos and movies and likes to game with his buddies. So he saved up for three years and built this setup in 24 hours and I gotta say, it came out looking glorious. He does everything on a single 27 inch curved monitor that's resting on a Linman Alex combo from Ikea. And on top of that, we got the SK61 keyboard and a budget wireless mouse from Amazon with clean cable routing through the monitor stand. Nicely done. For primary audio, the setup uses Insignia Bluetooth speakers, but for gaming, he does swap over to the Turtle Beach Recons. Excellent work with cable management. Nothing to complain about here. And powering everything is a custom build featuring the Core i5 10500TE and a GTX 1660 with some cable extensions. I might be wrong here, but I think this dude skinned his RAM sticks. If you look closely, it looks like he wrapped both of the modules, but I could be wrong. I don't know if that affects thermals, but I do like the idea. Another clean setup with great lighting. Thank you, Dominic, for entering. Here's a really cool and cozy gaming and productivity setup by Mario coming all the way from Germany. He's a web developer who likes to game, so naturally he built a setup where he can do both. We got a single 34 inch ultra wide that he uses for both work and gaming, and he stuck with wireless peripherals to avoid cable clutter. He went with the Logitech MX keys, which he paired nicely with the MX Master 3. I can't help but get these mature and sophisticated vibes from this setup. It's gotta be from the lighting and the abstract wall art, but the vintage desk lamp from the 1970s definitely contributes to that theme as well. This is far from a flashy setup, but I think that's what makes it so unique and different from the rest. I mean, he does have two light bars behind the monitor to show off that he can also hang out with the cool kids, but he chooses not to. 
There's also a bit of RGB inside the custom PC to give the setup a bit more life and it's packing some nice specs as well with the Ryzen 9 3900X and an MSI RTX 3080 Ventus. Very impressed with the cable work since he's on a motorized desk and overall really great execution on a minimalistic setup. Thank you Mario for sharing this with us. Owen is up next, who's an active member on my Discord server and our very first console setup of the episode. I was actually going to save this for the console edition of Setup Wars, but sadly didn't get enough qualified submissions. So I'm putting it in this video since it's technically a minimal setup too. So Owen is a grocery store bagger who saved up for a year and a half to build this for gaming only, but he does plan on getting a PC so he can actually do schoolwork on it. Right now it's being powered by both his consoles and an old Chromebook issued by his school. At first I thought there were two monitors, but that's actually a painting above the LG monitor to add a bit of personalization. I'm not sure if he has an HDMI switcher, but I would recommend getting one so it's easier to swap between both consoles with a press of a button. Moving on to peripherals, he's rocking a GK61 keyboard and a Logitech G305 with beautiful cable routing across the TS Limited Edition mouse pad. Very nice pick by the way, it complements the colors of your setup nicely. Very clean work with the cable management and you even stuck to a symmetrical design with some personality. I have no doubt that your next setup upgrade is going to be epic once you do get a custom PC, so feel free to submit again once you do. Thank you Owen for sharing this with us. Wrapping up the episode is a very clean and minimalistic setup by Giovanni. He might have triple displays, but the setup itself is minimalistic. He's a lawyer and nutritionalist from Mexico who works from home sometimes, so he built a setup where you can do that and game on his spare time. I'm normally against splitting up monitors like this, but for some reason Giovanni made it look good. The setup is so clean, there's barely anything on there except for some speakers and his wireless peripherals. He's rocking the G915 TKL and the G305 Lightspeed mouse. We got mostly neutral colors, so the RGB does all the talking and he's able to switch it up whenever he wants. Cables are managed pretty good with no complaints and finally finishing up with his pre-built PC from Dell that's equipped with an i7-3770 and the Zotac Gaming RTX 3050. Very nice. As a reminder, you guys can always pick up a cheap Windows CD key for less than $15. Just click on my link below and use the code TS20 for an extra 20% off. Once you get your CD key, just visit the activation settings in Windows and change your product key. It's that simple. So that is it for today's video. Very short and minimal, just like the setups. As always, make sure you guys comment below. Let me know which of these setups was your absolute favorite. If you guys are enjoying the show so far, do let me know by tossing a like. Before we head out, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.